Hi, Greg Grebo again. Welcome to my review of my new portable, fully portable, fully automatic, Panda Pan 60SWR1 washing machine. That's right. I live in an apartment on the second floor. Do we have laundry facilities in our apartments? No. Um, am I in fact wearing pajamas? Yes. Is it nighttime and is this appropriate attire? No, not even close. Do I care? Once again, no. Anywho, all right, so as you can see, it still has the plastic on top because this is the maiden voyage and we wanna make sure that this thing's actually gonna work because, you know, no shade China, but you're not actually, actually always pumping out quality merchandise and, you know, so I'm leaving the plastic on. So anyway, this thing, it's a 13 pound uh, automatic, fully automatic washing machine, but it's portable. I, as you can see, I have it on a little dolly so I can roll it out of my bathroom when I'm done and stuff it in the extra bedroom. Cause you know, I've got a whopping 500 square feet. You know, this place is a fucking palace, right? Anyway, so, sorry, you're not always gonna see my face. I highly doubt you're here for that anyway. So we begin with the little, water hose. So I have an adapter on my bathroom sink. I am not moving this camera because I actually have it duct taped to a shelf up in the corner of my bathroom. So you're just going to have to believe me. There's a little metal doohickey screws onto my bathroom sink. And then this bad boy screws onto the back of the uh, Panda portable washing unit. Then you take the, it's just a 110 plug-in, no special wiring needed. So um, you, I plug this in up here. The reason I plug it in up here instead of down lower is because really, um, who wants to get electrocuted in their bathroom doing laundry? Just saying. So I am gonna turn the water on, and this is gonna be a cold wash for the maiden voyage, so it's basically, uh, I've got my taps turned on, so it's cold water. I'll test it with my hand. So, first thing we do is we open this bad boy up and we turn it on. Oh, wait! <laughs> Au contraire, mon frere. We do not want to forget this step. It is the drain hose that comes on this side. You need to put this in your tub because if not, when it's pumping out the dirty water between loads, yeah, it'll pump it out all over your floor. So, Take the little drain hose, and I'm going to put it in my bathtub. Hold on, it's got this little loop protector on it, so you can make it as long or as short as you want. Okay, so that goes into the tub. Hopefully, well, I guess I'll just leave it right there on the edge of the tub. You want to make sure that's secured, though, because if it pops out, many gallons of nasty water on your apartment floor. Good luck explaining that one to your landlord that doesn't know you have a essentially what's equivalent to a you know 50 gallon uh, fish tank with an agitator in it mm. okay so we've got the drainage hose in we've got it plugged in we've got the water hooked up to the sink I am now going to load it with some laundry I have one two three four cotton t-shirts, one pair of uh, my other half smalls, also known as man panties. And right now these are just his work jeans. I have one pair of Levi 501s I'm gonna throw in. And uh, make sure there's nothing in the pockets. That is one thing they say, make sure the pockets are cleaned out. So, all right, let's see how full this bad boy is. Well, it could actually probably take a little bit more but that's okay because I have a water level selector on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna slide this back just a little bit because I need to guarantee that my drain hose is going to stay put. So, all right. So, um, clothes are in. What I, first thing you do, it's turned on. What I'm gonna do is select my water level here and it actually has eight, that's this many like a gangster, this many water levels. I am going to set it on 
the second to highest level. Um, I'll show you later how full this thing is. Um, and then the program, I'm just going to do a quick wash, which right there. And then what I, all I'm going to have to do is hit start. I'm filling my water to make sure, you know, yep, water's coming in, as you can see. And then I'm going to get grab a uh, high efficiency detergent. It's from this tree hugging hippie company called Drops, the outside. It looks like plastic, it's not. It's actually a plastic-like substance made from rice, so it completely dissolves. Put that in the machine. So this, this will do a, a normal size load, but I also can use it in here. I put that in there so it can dissolve. Um, yeah, I'll let you see what the inside of this thing looks, at, looks like. Hold on. Mm, let me see if I can get this right. There we go. Filling up. Now we just gotta wait for it to, uh, yeah, to wash. Oh, there it goes. It's washing. Mm, that's what it looks like, folks, when it's washing. We got 22 minutes to wait until the cycle is completely done. Close this. And let's see how this turns out. Alright, nine minutes left, and we're filling up for rinse. I missed when it was spinning out the nasty washing water that had soap and stuff in it. So I will videotape the drain process when it pumps out the rinse water. After it filled up, this is the actual rinse cycle. It just agitates back and forth to get the soap to rinse out any leftover yuckies. All right, we'll let this thing rinse. Got eight minutes left total on the cycle, and I will videotape when it starts to pump out the rinse water into the tub so you guys can see that process. All right, sorry I'm a little late to the game. This is from the into the tub there we go slowly going down my cheap crappily plum tub drain there we go yeah it just pumps the water out into the tub as you can see tops open pumping the water out and there's the water and there it is plugged in machine water drain so joy all right guys it's on the uh that's the noise it makes when you open it when it's on spin. It's a child warning. So if you have small children, you don't have to worry about them being eviscerated in this thing. So, yeah. So right, it will turn itself off and uh, do a terribly loud beeping. So right now, it is well, it's getting ready to gear back up and it's getting ready to spin and drain out the dirty water from uh, the wash cycle. There is still 14 minutes left. So that's for the rinse and, uh, you know, the, the rinse cycle and the final rinse spin. It'll take 14 minutes, give or take. So we're going to let this bad boy keep going. And, uh, yeah, we'll finish up the review when this is over. I'm going to go uh, be completely and totally useless in the other room. Talk to you soon. In fact, you can watch the countdown. This is 13 minutes there. Maybe I'll just leave this playing and you can sit here and it could be kind of a, I don't know, laundry, ASMR. There's an idea. Okay. So, 
So, the wash is over, and uh, as you can see, things are looking good. 22 minutes, and uh, yeah, it wasn't even a full load, and so I actually could have, if I had it, I, I actually could have uh, stuck another pair of jeans and probably two or three more um, t-shirts in here. So this thing is flippin' impressive. Um, it spins really nice, like the clothes come out, and even, even compared to like a coin-op um, laundry mat, they're actually much drier, much, much drier. So um, it, it holds nearly as much as a coin-op washing machine, and uh, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So um, let me get this, lay it down. I'm now gonna go use my uh, Panda spin dry and then throw it in my Panda uh, portable air dryer. I'll review those later though. So um, my new Panda PAN60SWR1 gets a uh, two thumbs up. Siskel and Ebert approved. Fuck yeah. No more laundromats. No more weird bed bugs. No more creepy ladies with their mystery stains and their lady garments. Yeah, life is good. Plus I live on the second floor. I hate stairs. All right, thanks.